Hi, I'm James Franco, and this is my mother, Betsy Franco, and welcome to Stanford's Open Office Hours. Larissa, what was it like in the Franco household? Oh my gosh. When the boys were growing up, and what's it like now when they come home? <laughs> Bonus, are there any good cat stories? Well, you're going to have to answer the first part. All right, all right, and so, yeah. This is the cat lady, so... <laughs> She has her own cat language. <laughs> well, that's true, I do. I'm not sure I'm going to do it for the cameras. There were games like um, Dumpster Dumpster, where all the toys were dumped into the hallway and whistled together. Um. <laughs> this is when I was about five. <laughs> um, we had, I was told from someone who came over to our house a lot that we had an extraordinary amount of art materials around and building, you know, lots of blocks and things you build with and and I allowed them to have like a do you remember the junk box? No? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Sort of. <laughs> they were allowed to collect, you know, things that were important to them in this junk box that normally somebody would just go in the in a room and just throw out. Um, it was very, very active. And if I looked away for one second, you were pretty much the ringleader of a lot of mischief. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like jumping off the roof onto mat mattresses, for example. Um, you put that in your book, didn't you? I did. I put it in my play in my book. <laughs> hmm. There are a lot of actors in the house now. Yeah. Betsy has been going to acting class for a few years now. and My brother's an actor and... Uh, my grandmother fancies herself an actor, and um, so it's nice. It's a very warm, warm house, um, and we all have inherited a love of cats. So I have two cats, my brother has two cats, and my mother has two cats. So around when we, when we all come home, there are sometimes six cats in the house. <laughs> And apparently in Palo Alto, you're only allowed to have five cats in a house. It's a, it's a law. Uh-oh. Yeah. Helen asked, how have your college education ex and experiences influenced or helped your creative pursuits? Well, maybe you should start because this yeah. is where you went to college, isn't it? This is, I went to Stanford, and it's a really good question because I was an art major. Mm -hmm. And um, Frank Lobdell was my main teacher at the time. My husband was also taking art classes with me. We were even given a room that was made just for us, for a studio, which is unheard of these days, um, just so we would see what it was like to be an artist working on our own. I mean, he would come and, and help us, but um, he taught me so much about creativity that I was able to transfer it um, from painting to writing, and it worked perfectly. I, uh, I went to UCLA as an undergrad, and then I left after a year. I started working professionally as an actor, and then after about eight years, I went back and finished. And um, I would say that having gone out and worked in the professional world and then going back to school and finishing my bachelor's at, at that point, um, I was given... Uh, great insight into how I learn best. I, I believe that a person can learn both in school and in the professional world. And for me, it's best to mix the two. Tiffany asked, how would you inspire more students to pursue the humanities or creative arts in college as a major? Every generation has artists, actors, writers, dancers, musicians, a lot of times it's the person who uh, doesn't give up. <laughs> a lot of people give up if they, if they are rejected a couple times. And um, that's just part of the arts. I mean, if it was, if, if it was easy, everybody would do it. <laughs> it's just, why not you? You know, if that's what you really need to do, you know, I suggest that you do it because it's going to haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, anyway, if you don't. Sarah says, I'm a mom to three awesome kids who love acting. 
What do you tell little kids who aspire to follow in your footsteps, especially in terms of balancing academics and extracurriculars? It's sort of an interesting question because nowadays a lot of people have their kids in, in a lot of activities. And they often say to me, you know, did James start at the children's theater or did, you know, and, you know, honestly, you guys were, <laughs> weren't in that many activities. <laughs> you started acting when you were a senior in high school. Mm -hmm. Um, it wasn't like you have to start really young or it's not going to work or, you know, um, I found that all three of you really started self-selecting in high school. Thank you for joining us for Open Office Hours. <laughs> See you next time.